It was evident to everybody that we had an issue, uh, that we had to be serious about addressing that issue, and that going out and talking about the solutions before we had actually put them in place really didn't make a whole lot of sense. From a communications perspective, there are sort of three key elements in my view that had to be considered uh, when we thought about what our communication strategy would be around the issue of child labor. Uh, number one was, do we have a story to tell? Do we have the goods, the content, uh, if you will, to actually back up anything we're going to say externally? We also had to uh, reach out to uh, external expert third party, independent third parties to um, have a better understanding of how to deal with this sort of issues because that was totally something, not something that we had expertise on. That's where, you know, Verity uh, involvement uh, comes in. They were crucial for helping us get our mind around, you know, what needs to get done. We developed with Philip Morris International the Agricultural Labor Practices Program, which essentially is a code of conduct for their company and their suppliers and their farmers that essentially demonstrates how to properly engage a workforce. Some of the things that have happened have been quite powerful. Philip Mars has reached out to 496,000 farms around the world with some amount of information about labor practices. This has never happened in the PMI structure before and I frankly don't think it happened at that scale for any other company. Number two was, what's the tone of that communication? And for me, the answer to that question was quite clear. It had to be somber, and it had to always acknowledge that this is a real and serious issue in our supply chain. We also believed that engaging with Human Rights Watch, our biggest critic, uh, was an important step to take because if we truly were invested in, in addressing these issues, we needed to partner with an organization that shared that same goal. The American experience first is that there are issues still. And the fact that we have a what we believe and it is acknowledged to be a, a robust, comprehensive program doesn't mean that we've sol solved all the issues. And number three was timing. Uh, we had to ensure we had the right story to tell, but also pick the right moment in which to talk about what this company has done to address these issues. I have been doing this work for close to 20 years and many companies that we've engaged with 
tend to take the short view. I think one of the things that we are most excited about and um, most hopeful about is the fact that Philip Morris has actually taken the long view.